how Nambekano was dehumanized for eight days by Kenya's military forces. Following the meeting today between IPOP lawyer Mr. Ifai Ejiofo and Nambekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, more facts have emerged over the circumstances surrounding the arrest and extradition of the IPOP leader. Namdekano lead defense counsel Mr. Ifain Ejofo on Friday night confirmed that his client was arrested and detained for eight days by Kenya Special Police Force before he was eventually handed over to the Nigerian counterparts. Ejofo, who made the disclosure shortly after his team were permitted by the Department of State Services. DSS to have a meeting with Kano said his client was arrested in Kenya on June 18th. In a statement made available to Nine News Nigerian, a GFO said his client was tortured and subjected to various forms of inhuman treatment in Kenya, a situation he said worsened his health condition. The statement titled Updates on meeting with Mazen Namdekano today, 2nd July 2021. My client Mazen Namdekano was actually abducted by the accused Kenyan Special Police Force on the 18th of June 2021 at their international airport and consequently taken to an undisclosed residence under dehumanizing condition. He was tortured and subjected to all forms of inhuman treatment which worsened his health condition. He was illegally detained for eight good days in Kenya before being transferred to their Nigerian counterparts. He was purportedly investigated on a bogus charge while in their custody ostensibly awaiting to be handed over after their findings proved him innocent of all the spurious allegations. They later beckoned on their Nigerian counterparts to take over. Kenya government was deeply involved in the abduction, detention and ill treatment of my clients before the illegal handover to their Nigerian counterparts. A scan of his heart showed that the heart has enlarged by 13% due to the dehumanizing treatment meted on him there will be need for immediate proper medical examination and attention for him mazi namdekano conveyed his goodwill message to all hypo family members worldwide and craved for their unrelentless prayers we are going back to the court for the need for other details cannot be entertained here his Fortified legal team will address these infractions at the proper forum as we progress. Other details on our legal strategy may not be made public. Anything Kenya is saying is completely a fallacy. Kenya is just trying to defend itself they are just trying to defend themselves they are completely behind the arrest of Mazen and Kanu. look at it at first it was Kenya that apprehended Namdekano and after having apprehended him they have to keep him themselves if they don't want, if, if, if really they don't know anything about Mazen Namdekano, why then did they keep him? If really they don't have anything to do with Nigeria, or if really they don't have any compromising or agenda with, with Nigeria, what has warranted them to still keep Mazen Namdekano in their custody till eight days? after which they now handed him over to the Nigerian government.
And again, what actually gave them the impetus to hand in on the canon to the Nigerian government? That is to tell you that the Kenya already have a clear information concerning in and the canon and the Nigerian government. So they, on their own side, are already preparing to help Nigeria to capture Mazin and the canon for this trial. Do you understand what I'm saying? They themselves are already preparing. So there is nothing they, they, are, they are going to tell anyone concerning this at all. There is nothing they are going to say because everyone is 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 uh, is aware of what they have just done. So this, which their their uh, their their president is trying to say concerning them being dragged into this into Mazinam the Kano's trial case, is just a story that touch. They are directly connected and directly involved. There is no two ways about it, no story about it. They have the gut to detain Mazin and Bikano, to detain him for some time, to keep him for some time. Eh? Okay, if really they don't have anything to do with him. Why then, after detaining him for eight days, they have to hand him over to the Nigerian government? Can you imagine? And they are saying that they, they don't know anything about President Abdikano's uh, 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 arrest. They are, they are liars. They must, be, they, must, they, must, they must be sued. They must be sued. They deserve to, to be sued. All these ones they are saying to me, that they are stories. They are all stories. I cannot concur to that fact. I can't. Kenya knows something about the arrest of Mazen and Bikano. They know. So let them begin to voice out. Let them begin to voice out. Because there is no one that they will tell this and they will say that, oh, what Kenya is saying is true. Okay? So, um, if there is anyone to be, uh, to, be, to, be, to be blamed or if there is anyone to cast a blame on or if there is anyone that sh should be accused directly of masterminding the arrest of Mazin and the Kano, I tell you that Kenya is number one. Kenya is number one. What else? Who else? Who else did that if not for Kenya? It is Kenya. So, my dear viewers, we don't need to flog much on this issue because we all know everything. So, deem it free to come in at least and air your own opinion. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.